Well, I'm here with uh, Richard of Iron Principles, and you're going to show me two of the applications you've been building. Uh, one of them is a WPF application, the other one is a Silverlight 2 application. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, let's kick off with a WPF app. Uh, so this is a part of the Book platform that we have. This has actually been done for a, uh, a company up in Birmingham called Dunce, who are professional photography printers. So uh, I'll give you a quick whiz through. The first thing to do is, do you want to create a new book or open one that you've already done? The software is all about building photograph albums. So let's build a, a new book. We've got loaded up all of the templates that Dunn's use, all the particular leather books, or whether there's uh, photos on the front covers, etc. So let's just pull up a, uh, let's pull up something like a portrait leather book. Well, in fact, let's choose one with uh, a picture on the front. So let's call this uh, one Eric's book. And uh, we can look at some more details, but let's just create it for the sake of the demo here. So the first thing you hopefully see is the WPF app showing a really high fidelity picture of the book. This is the actual sort of cover image that you're going to have, obviously the spine, and the front cover, and then the individual pictures that are there. On the inside, we've got the Hessian texture that's in there, and we can look at all the pages. We've got some like 15 pages of uh, spreads here. We've also got on the left-hand side a whole bunch of different content. So we can get the content off the local disk, or you can go off to a site perhaps like Flickr or something like that to pull the, the content down from. Let's just assume for the moment we've got the content uh, loaded up. This is in my, my pictures folder. We've got a uh, one thing we've done is, is looked at the whole uh, touch facility. So although I can use this and control it with the mouse, we can have a look at, for example, layouts here, and then we can come back and look at different colours. I could perhaps put a, a blue colour on that spread if we wanted to. Um, but as well as using it there, we can we can use a touch process if we've got a touch screen like this one. So I could take a particular layout and just drag that over onto the book and say that's my layout that I want to use. And then if I want to tackle that and, and go through my menus, I can then go to my content and say, well, I want to use uh, this nice leaf picture over here, and I want to use this sunflower over there, etc., etc. Now, of course, we might not get everything in the right place, uh, or we might want to just create a book very, very quickly. So one thing we can do is we can come along here and say, from all our layouts there, uh, we also have menus as a means of getting that. We can just apply the layouts to the spreads across the whole book. And that will then create them all as a different set of layouts. Very nice. And then we can come up here and say, with our content, uh, perhaps we just want to say, fill my whole book with the content that's there. So just make a book for me. In which case, if we have enough images, you can get that. So this was, this was built um, by how many folks in the team? This was built uh, was probably over the course of the last year uh, between other projects. And uh, so we've really had uh, probably two, two developers part-time and uh, a designer part-time on that as well. Okay. So, and uh, Phil, Phil will take you through some of the uh, design aspects. Some of the, some of the tools you used to create it. Yeah. Now that, that is marvellous. The, the, the touch stuff that you're showing, so we're on Windows Vista, so yeah. is that taking advantage of something HP have done? Uh, this, the touchscreen HP uh, here has some drivers that allow you to do simple touch uh, facilities, but we're working at the moment on the Windows 7 multi-touch items with that, so extending this out to be full multi-touch there, but also allowing you to manipulate and use the images uh, on the pages using multi-touch, so it'll be a much more integrated experience. That's very impressive. I'll, I'll make sure that we get a URL. People can use this now? Yeah, you? this is actually available uh, as a just a pure uh, photo album printing tool uh, through Duns. So, uh, yeah, if you can... I'll make sure I'll get that in the yeah, next well, one. Good, thank you. Brilliant. Well, I'm still in Nine Principles, and I'm with Phil, who's one of the designers, and he's going to take me through some of the process behind uh, using Expression Design and Expression Blend to create the kind of application you've been looking at. Uh, you've been working on Book lately? Yeah, I've been doing lots of work on Book. So we've been making a uh, special control for Windows 7 and the touch uh, interfaces around that. So I've been developing a click wheel. And uh, step one of that is in Expression Design. So I put all the elements I want together in that. And then after I've done that, the whole lot is copied into expression blend where it's where I do some simple animation get it working um, roughly how I want it interaction wise and then the final step of that <coughs> is to uh, talk to my developers who wire it all up for me and get it working exactly how it should be
Okay, so if you could back up a little bit to yep. um, looking at expression design. So that's the tool I've not used. Yep. So I'm looking at a screen that looks just like the demo, but doesn't do a lot. So that's just a. a so this is just yeah, this is just flat vector graphics. It's just a circles and gradients essentially. Um, and I've, I've drawn some arrows on top of here as well, as well as a sort of indication of what to do. Um, and the overall screen that I'm looking at with all the content layout. Yeah, so every, everything else, this, this, this is a screenshot of the application as it was. So I like to design with, with everything in context so I know exactly how it's going to look when it's sat in situ. But actually, all I'm really working on is, is that, section, that section there. And you can actually see underneath it, there's an old piece of work that I've done here which I didn't use, so I've just, I've just laid that over the top of there. Okay. And then when you export from that, it exports it as a XAML file? I well, you just go edit copy XAML, and that will give me text which I can paste directly into Blend. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.